All right, get ready for an art event that is unique to Austin with over 100 pieces of art plus live music and local beverages. It's a fun event for the community to get, come together and support Central Texas artists. Here with all the details about the Wonderlust art event this weekend is organizer Megan Merrill. She is an artist. She's here with us this morning. This is a piece of your art. This is a piece of my art. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. Thanks. So what's fascinating about this story is you're an artist. You were saying to me that it's a little difficult to sell your art so you're like what better way to sell it than create a really fun event for com some, for people to come and attend and it's not only your stuff but you're going to gather other artists together too right that's right we have 11 artists and we're going to have over 100 pieces of original artwork from those people um, and that's the whole idea is that i wanted to create an event that was maybe more fun and more exciting that will appeal to a broader audience than right. maybe a typical art show so we have a lot of artists we have sponsorship from Real Ale Brewing Company and Tequeen Bottled Cocktails, as well as the local company just started up with Sway uh, Fruit Infused Water, as wow. well as live music. So. Fancy. That's yeah. so cool. So it's not going to be just like studying art. It's going to be a social event. People exactly. Can have fun. I mean, these images that we're showing, unbelievable. And these are all local artists? That's correct. Wow. I found all of them here in Austin. That's amazing. That's what's so cool about this city. Um, you're calling this event, uh, it's a non-traditional <coughs> art show and a non-traditional venue. That's right. We're actually having the art show in a yoga studio. Wanderlust Yoga um, is the studio that agreed to do the show with me. And when I saw the space, it's just so stunning in there. They have cork floors and they have these beautiful light fixtures and everything. And I think it's a beautiful space to have this type of an event. Was it intimidating to <coughs> decide to put a show on yourself? It is. It's the I first mean, time I've done anything like cool. this. Yeah, but um, and honestly, it started out as just a show for me, and it's just kept evolving and getting larger and larger. Yeah. Um, but I'm really excited about it. I think it's become bigger than what I originally imagined. I think it'll be even better. So. It just shows you. I mean, the community loves local artists, and I guess from your perspective, talk to us about you know the difficulties of being an artist in Austin. Yeah, well, we have such a surplus of really, really talented people here, and there's not uh, there's more artists than there are galleries in Austin, and that's probably true other places as well, but I only have experience here, and so that makes it really difficult. A lot of, a lot of galleries have like two-year waiting lists to get in, so it's very hard to get in, oh. and then once you do get in, a lot of people don't realize the gallery often, and usually the industry standard is to take a 50% commission on oh. any of the artwork that sells, and then beyond that, they usually have an exclusion clause that per prohibits you from selling artwork anywhere else in the city. Wow. So it's really that's, hard to make yeah, it as an artist. Yeah, that's you wouldn't normally know. Yeah, and so that's why I wanted to create an event that, you know, I mean, that gives people another, basically a temporary art gallery venue in order to sell their artwork, hopefully, for this evening. So what do you envision? This is Saturday, right? <coughs> this Saturday, yes. Okay, so it's this, let's put some information on the screen just since we're talking about it, of, of where it is and when it is. And it's free, right? It's a free event, that's correct. Okay, so let's talk about what you envision. What do you, what do you think what would be the best case scenario? People just come, enjoy, mingle. I mean, you're going to have how many pieces of yourself? Will I'll be there? have uh, about a dozen pieces. Okay. And most of the artists will have about a dozen pieces. Some of them will have less. Um, but I just... I really hope that it feels like a big party and that there's a lot of great art going around and there's music happening and that it's just a fun place to be. Right. That's cool. That's what the art's supposed to be. It's I supposed know. to be fun. I mean, we've yeah. been doing it since we've been in preschool, right? Exactly. And of course, you get older and you, some people stop doing it and others like you, you perfect it and make it great, <laughs> make it fun events. So there's the information. Wonderlust Art Show this Saturday from 7.30 to 10.30. Go on down. It's on 4th Street on the east side, and it is going to be a ton of fun. And I thank you so much for coming here. Thank you. That's so cool. Good luck with everything, Kay. Thanks. I appreciate it. All right. Are you making a simple mistake that is burning your budget? Sometimes that's definitely me. Coming up, we have some hot tips that will help you save energy and money.